Greetings to everyone, my name is Senka Borovac Zekan and I come from the University of Split, University Department of Professional Studies in Croatia. Today I will present you how I include all of the 17 sustainable development goals in my course event management. The presentation outline is as follows. First, I will give you a short introduction to NGOs and introduce you to my course event management. Then I will present how we implement all of the SDGs in our projects and how we make NGOs more visible. I will identify the main stakeholders and suggest the next steps to be taken. Non-governmental organizations uh, are non-profit organizations and they represent a specific form of organizing of citizens. The tribe contributes to the promotion of peoples living in the environment in which they act, to democratic development and enforcement of political, economical and social reforms, as well as to the right of citizens in freedom of thinking, religious and cultural beliefs and preferences. The promotion of NGO is the, in the society is crucial for their target group. Therefore, their close cooperation with the university is an ultimate necess necessity in order for the media and interest groups to familiarize themselves with the subject of their work and their role in the society. NGO mobilization is required to ensure the sustainable development goals are implemented at national levels. This presentation is focusing, focusing on how to improve NGO visibility and different social groups' inclusion in society. It appears that although NGOs are increasingly aware of the SDGs, they still need help in organizing activities such as press conferences, roundtables, seminars, debates, and all other types of events during one year. The events organized by the NGO sectors should possess a dash of attractiveness and in order for the cooperation between them, between students, media, and companies to be more successful in terms of meeting the needs of their end users. Uh, the students at event management course are working on two projects. The first project is uh, finding NGO and conducting an interview with the person in charge. And the second project is planning and promoting the event for the specific NGO. Event organization activities of these organizations are very important. An organization and attendances at such events make an integral part of NGO operations. Such a manner enables constant education and following of the trends in the, in the area in which they act. At the end of each year, non-governmental organizations adopt annual plans of activities for the following year and plan events in accordance therewith. They have to take care of all steps of planning and promoting an event. And that is where our students step in. Students need to think of everything that will be required for the event. This includes answers to the what, why, how, for whom and when of the event. They go through the points and see if organizing the special event is the best possible solution to achieve the given objective. They discuss with other team members the purpose of the event, the dates, the target audience, etc. and take their feedback. A typical plan should have the following details in place. First, goals and objectives. To ensure success and to guide their teams, it is important for them to have a predefined goal and objective for the event. They need to make sure that their goal is in line with their organization's mission and vision. For instance, some students were planning the fundraising sales exhibition of handcrafts made by children with special needs for Easter. Uh, then type of the event. Once they know the purpose of the event, they should decide the type of the event. It should be noted that the type of the event should complement the cause for which the specific special event is being organized. Careful arrangement of the purpose and the type of the event will help in creating a deeper impact 
among the participants and deliver a lasting impression for the cause and for the organization. And then budgeting. Finances of the events should be carefully planned and budgeted. The bud should, budget should uh, include the cost to be incurred in different heads of the event and the estimated earnings that will be used to cover the cost of the event and also surpluses for costs. Then target audience. Once the event is planned, the audience needs to be carefully chosen. The right audience can help the cause and the wrong one can render the event failure. The audience or the invitee should be able to relate to the cause and find the event to their taste. It would be a mistake to invite people who don't identify with the cause or cannot contribute to the goal. Marketing and branding the event creating a positive media image through diligently prepared marketing communication is a determinant for the event success. Regarding uh, uh, event promotion, advertising is a key step for any non-profit event. The easiest way to execute this scheme is to come up with a detailed marketing agenda and checklist and to make sure the whole team understand their role in this plan. There are a few details to consider when building out the marketing plan. How will you promote the event? Through social media, flyers, radio, local news, etc. What promotion materials will you be using? What is event promotion cycle? When it comes to reaching larger and more diverse audience, social media offers the best practices so far and so my students use it, use it the most. Some of the benefits are as follows. For students, it is networking opportunities. Given that NGOs typically participate in numerous networking activities, volunteers, students, and employees alike are able to experience interacting with different types of people and hearing different opinions and perspectives. They are able to hear success stories and learn from mistakes previously committed by others and what has been done. Students gain practical experience. In recent years, many NGO project management and courses on development studies have been established by many academic institutions. Employees of NGOs have had the privilege of taking these courses to further development their knowledge in the field. Professors can also organize training seminars Companies as donors and sponsors can improve their social and environmental performance and find new market opportunities through partnership with non-governmental organizations and universities. And finally, NGO plays a critical part in developing society, improving communities and promoting citizen participation. So, what to do next? Change is possible. The change is unstoppable. We have to go a step further and detect NGO who are willing to cooperate with us. We need to involve the university and our faculty decision makers in this project. We want this to be a part of the curriculum and to define crucial steps to be taken. By that, I mean the ad administrative uh, part of the project. There are so many stakeholders to be involved. We just need goodwill and courage for action. Thank you for your attention and please contact me if you have questions or you have ideas to suggest. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Best regards to all of you. Bye.